while China unveiled a new doomsday nuclear bomb that could strike the U.S. within 30 minutes with 10 warheads, a top U.S. general declared gender and race diversity to be a warfighting necessity against the homogeneous forces of China and Russia. If this is the case, the United States is truly doomed. Built as the ultimate doomsday weapon, the fearsome super nuke was displayed during China's 70th anniversary parade in Tiananmen Square. The Dongfeng 41 is a 7,672 mile per hour intercontinental ballistic missile that is said to have the furthest range of any nuclear missile and could reach the U.S. within 30 minutes. Meanwhile, in the United States, U.S. Major General Lori Reynolds told 300 intelligence Marines at the 9th Annual Marine Association and Foundation Intelligence Awards dinner that diversity will make the difference in future warfighting. Quote, I believe a dramatic mix of talent of all races, religions, and backgrounds, and genders will be the difference in the future, said Reynolds. She added that promoting diversity was crucial because it was an advantage China and Russia did not hold. She went on to say that we must talk about diversity as a warfighting necessity, and tonight I'm declaring it essential to the information environment, Reynolds went on to say. Earlier this year, Air Force General David L. Golfing also gave a speech in which he asserted that introducing diverse flesh colored band aids was a warfighting imperative. What in the hell is going on with these generals in the United States while China is over there showing super nuclear bombs and weapons and hypersonic missiles? These guys are over talking about diversity. What do you think? Is China the most powerful military force on the planet now that the United States is simply talking about diversity. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.